Happy hump day, everybody. Thank you for stopping in. Um, I'm just going to show you a... Oops, I have my tablet going as well. Um, anyway, I started a new pair of socks. Um, I don't know if I showed you guys the finished ones, but I got this at the Chattanooga Yarn Company here in my hometown. And this is from a sock kit. Um, she has all kinds of yarn goodies. So I was in love to say the least. So these are going to be for me, but this is how it's worked up so far. Got the two by two rib cuff and then just the stitch, knit stitch for my um, leg. It's the vanilla sock pattern from Crazy Sock Lady, whom I give all my credit for teaching me how to knit a sock. Um, I'm also working on the easy ribbed beanie. I start, I want to say easy breezy because it is very easy to do. Um, so I'm working on that. If you hear some grunts in the background, that's the puppies playing. I'm having me some Southern pecan, pecan coffee from Green Mountain with a little hint of honey and vanilla. And I'm sitting here trying to decide if I want to wear my red blazer today or my just my black zip up. Can't decide if I want to be dressy or dressed down. I don't know. Can't decide. Hair's hair is up, so it's growing out. It's in between. I mean, I got a hair day Saturday. It's in between that growing out stage and her having to trim it back up and. Today, I just threw it back. Um, I was trying to see if the saw, the, um, beanie was over here. I don't see it. Hmm. Since having the new puppy, I've had to, I've had to move my things because she gets in my yarn. You know, I think I'm going to wear... I think I am going to wear the little black zip up just because it's kind of casual and I can zip it up. So I didn't do my workout today. As my husband says, I didn't get up in time. I mean, I get up at the same time every day, but I did not. I do not know. I know I did not leave it over here. Oh my goodness gracious. Yes, I did. Oh, fat dog had to find this. Here it is. <laughs> Ooh. Better? No? I don't know. Either way. Um, anyway, I am using Karen Simply Soft for my hat. It is in probably just pink, soft pink, and it is so soft. I typically, I originally got it for a granddaughter's project. So this is what I have so far of the, what you do is you make a row of ribbed um, stitches. And I think I'm on one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40. I have six more rows <laughs> to do. And um, it's real easy. You just, uh, you're after that first round of your foundation chain, 
you're basically just crocheting in that back loop for 40 or however many rows you want to do. This is a child's hat that I'm doing. Um, so, and then you cinch it up, sew it up, and you can put a pom-pom on it, which this one's going to have the same color pom-pom as the hat. And then after this little ditty, I call my my little, I just started this one on a Saturday morning just to have something to do. Uh, hubby was working on some bills and so I was like, you know what, I'm going to, I'm going to start me an easy ribbed beanie. I've been seeing a lot of them. This particular one is from Turtle Trunk on YouTube. She does a great little video and it's easy to follow. So, you want a quick little crochet project, um, check her out. And if you want to learn to make socks, check out Crazy Sock Lady um, on YouTube as well. Because she has some great tips. I started out when I was wanting to do socks with DPNs. So, my daughter bought me this beautiful set of Chago uh, needles. I started a sock on my DPNs, and um, I got the concept of it, which I think I'm going to, I am going to do another pair. Pickles! Yep, she's okay. Pickles is in there playing with Nixie and um, jumping off the furniture. And I'm afraid she's going to hurt herself. But anyway, um... D the DPN video was also Crazy Sock Lady. So, <laughs> uh, if you can't tell, I really like Kate. Um, but anyway, she is a great teacher, and um, I watched and kept watching the video, watching the video. And then I found one for Magic Loop. Well, that's my preferred method, um, just because you're not dealing with a bunch of needles. Even though you're only dealing with four when you do Magic Loop. Um, um, I'm sorry, when you do DPNs, not Magic Loop. Magic Loop, you have two. That's it. Which, really, DPNs, you're only dealing with two at a time, but you have four that your work is on. Um, so, anyway. Um... So, I wanted to just show you guys my new sock, tell you about the Chattanooga Yarn Company. I was, I'm very proud that um, we have a yarn store that I can go to, and whenever I get a chance, I'm going to, I'm going back, and I'll do a video of the yarn store. So, anyway, you guys uh, make the best of it today. Have a good one, and talk to you later. Bye.